Hey guys, welcome back to Attack on Iron World. I have no idea what part this is. I keep wanting to put like, you know, Welcome to Attack on Iron World part 72. I don't know what fucking part it is. We've been on this for so fucking long, I have no idea what part this is. Okay, let's make sure the camera is the right way before we, you know, fucking piss around. Okay, we are all good. We can now piss around. Is it any invinci invincible? Invincible? My enemy, ah, my enemy. Is that my enemy right there? That would be fucking brilliant. It fucking is. Oh god, quick, Heather, do something. No, no, not, not you. Let's get someone we don't, we literally care nothing, nothing for. There you go, Axel. Let's go. Out you come. That's right. You got a job, Axel. Do that. Good job. You did it. Now die. Sadi, there it is. You're the best. That was the worst geobock change ever. This but But it's like my nephew fucking vomiting. It's like just the worst vomiting ever. It's like, it's like nothing will be uh, nothing will be happening, nothing will be happening at all, and then all of a sudden just blah. It just, just opens his mouth and just blah. Just all falls on the floor. It's like, I'm scared. Really? <laughs> That's just fucking disgusting. But how is everybody doing today? Today is Monday, of course. Well, for you, anyway. I am doing pretty, pretty good, actually. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I just, well, I say just. Yesterday, I did a recording with with my good friend, and we. I'm putting that up later today. So in about an hour, you'll get that. It's a Naruto versus mode. I've not put out a versus mode for ages. Uh, but this game was really fun, really good, so I thought we'd do one because it has like, the perfect thing for versus mode. So it's it's there. It's about 30 minutes long or something. It's that's uh, coming coming your way. You should enjoy that. Uh, I'm also going to be recording more Naruto after this. Uh, but yesterday we played it a lot. Like we after that half an hour we were still like. Raring to go. Like after that 30 minutes, we continued to play uh, pretty much all day. We played so long, it was crazy. Which really speaks like how good it was. How fun. We were just like playing it so goddamn long. It was insane. And then when we when we had when we decided to start, start they're like, alright, we'll stop. Well like, we'll, we'll order some dinner. You know, that's what we do. We'll, we'll order we'll order a couple of burgers or something, you know, and you know, pizza. Like and I will continue. We ended up watching the anime disc that you get with it. <laughs> so you, you, in the game, you get um, a disc and it has like an AMV on it. It's like a dream that Sasuke is having or something about like a touchy making eggs for him. Watch this. I, I won't. I won't go into it, but you should actually watch it because I don't know. We must have been like. So we had must have been like fucking high on paint fumes or something because we found it fucking hilarious. We were laughing for so long. It was it was really really bad as well because it like really wasn't when you analyze it it's not that funny. But we thought it was fucking hilarious. But yeah, you should definitely watch that. Uh, we we thought we thought that um, the Mecha Naruto was on there episodes because there's those you don't know there's like a filler that's just come out in the Naruto anime uh, about Mecha Naruto. It's about a robot Naruto. I've not watched it, so I couldn't explain it to you. Mecha Naruto is in the game as a as a playable character, and I was going to. I was, I was assuming that he was on the, the, that that uh, that that filler that those two episodes <laughs> were you. on that disc, were on that anime disc. And by watching them on that anime disc, I would like unlock, unlock Mecha Naruto. I mean, how fucking cool would that have been? That would have been fucking badass if they did that. But instead of them, do it, they didn't do that. Instead, <laughs> which is such a shame because it would have been so cool. Um, I'm not sure how where the best place to put this is to be up here. Uh, so we just like. So we just do it there and get some gear power changing. Huh? That sounds good. Uh, but, um, the, so I thought that was on there, and I thought that would be so cool if you, like, got, like, a trophy after watching the video and stuff. That would be really fun, but it's not on there. It's an AMV. 
The AMV was still funny, but it wasn't what, what we were expecting. So that that was a little bit disappointing, but the AMV was great anyway. To, to find me. Um, we we watched that, and then we continued to, to play more Mario. We did like survival mode and all that sort of stuff, and it was very fun. Very fun, very enjoyable. Uh, I might record a versus, uh, uh, not a versus, uh, a survival at some point when I try that again. But I don't, I don't know yet. It depends. I'll do the main tournament series that the game is based around first. Not bad. And also, it wouldn't surprise me if this was like the new arc. Like after the Great Ninja War or whatever, whatever they're in at the moment, if they had like a world tournament, because that would be really fucking cool. And are these guys like immune to fire? Yeah, that was dumb. Who saw that ahead of time? Seriously, you get you get a prize. So fuck me, that was ridiculous. Why didn't he die? Holy shit, we're not killing them. That's bad. We're not killing them with one blow, that's really not good. Yeah, so we really, we really enjoyed that, that was super fun. And then this morning, this morning I completed the story of Destiny. I completed Destiny's storyline. And it was not good. <laughs> it, the thing, it, thing is, right, is people, people have been telling me, people who have seen it, seen me bitch right on Twitter, have been telling me that it's an MMO. It's an MMO and I shouldn't be like getting upset that an MMO has a bad storyline. Because that's not what it's about. But that doesn't excuse it in, in my eyes. In my eyes, having a bad story does, just because you're an MMO, that does not like give you permission to have a wanky storyline. You still have to have a good story. At least for me, because that's what that's what the that's what it is. It's still it's still a crafted story that you need to work with, and the Destiny one is not there. There's no no storyline at all, and it kind of just ends. It kind of really just stops. I don't understand. Now before before anybody gets like angry or anything like this, I like Destiny. I like the game itself. I think the game itself is cool. Uh, I think the the like the lore behind the traveler and stuff is very cool. And the game itself is made brilliant, right? It, the controls feel tight. It feels fucking really responsive. The gunplay is really good. That is all amazing. The story is just lacking, and just because it's MMO doesn't mean it gets a free pass for having a bad story, in my eyes. And, uh, you know, it's, it wasn't very hard either. I did it all on my own. I didn't find it that difficult to beat. And, all right, now, no spoilers for the story, because I didn't understand it anyway. Uh, the very last boss, right? The very last boss you fight. Yeah, that's a tiny spoiler. It is a green blob thing. Right, it's a green blob thing. That's what it is. These pirates have really fucked us up, by the way. It's just a massive green blob. Not bad. And the green blob sends three waves of men at you. After you kill said three waves of men, you have one. You you win the game. And all the missions huh? seem to be take little robot guy to place. Let him hack for a while while you defend him. That seems to be the mission. It seems very generic. I'll show you it, the like power I said, I, I enjoy it. The strikes, like the free man strikes, Sunny, are the, by far bad. the best bit of the game. They are by far the coolest segment of the game. It's just, they are the best bit. They're simple because they're, they're, the fights are challenging. They're, they're interesting. With three people, they're, the fights are very good, well crafted and interesting against cool bosses. <laughs> And the story mode just seems to be phoned in. I've not done any raids yet. I feel like I wasn't really ready for them. 
And I, plus, I don't see, I can't seem to find where they are. Like, I can't seem to find the race. And people said that's because I've not got high enough gear to edit them yet, so. Which is fine, which I'm fine with. It's like, okay, that's fine, or whatever. I, I won't edit them until I've got gear though, that's fine. I'm scared. Really? Uh, so we let him come closer. There we go, come off of those blue panels. That makes sense. And then we can kill you guys like that. Boom. Uh, we can get flying up the hill. Everyone is dead, I'm afraid. Which kind of sucks. Oh, Mega Hill Lavatories, please. Thank you. And then fire this person here. Yeah, so I, 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 I'm still gonna play it. Don't get me wrong. I'm still gonna play ahead. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try and do some raids. I'm gonna try to do the rest of the strikes. Get some better gear. Get some cool stuff. But I feel like once I'm done, I'm done. But does that make sense, Time people? To like I'm not. I really don't think Do I'm gonna to buy go? the expansions. Because if it's just like an expansion of the story, I'm not sure I want it. Quite frankly. Not for the faint of heart. And if I'll it's teach you a lesson. an expansion that has like Watch a this. lot of like, a lot of raids and stuff like that, and if I find I'm not doing them, I'm just not gonna bother. Because I think at the end of the day, ah, this for go. me is just filler until we be bored enough. It's simple. This is, uh, it seems me mean, but at the end of the day, it's, that's how it feels to me. And that's not necessarily, I'm not saying that the game itself is bad or anything like that. I want to make this, this bluntly clear because I know a lot of people really like it. And I know a lot of people get really attached to their franchises. And there's nothing wrong with nothing wrong with that. If someone was to come up to I'm me scared. in the street and fucking say like the scares be shit, I'd be like, well, fucking fuck you, man. What the hell? The scares fucking amazing. It's the best. Because you know, I, I really enjoy it. But and it's fine if you like that and you want to defend the franchise that you like. If you enjoy Destiny, that's perfectly fine with me. I'm not gonna judge you for liking the game that I don't. Okay? Simple as it's just my personal feelings on the matter. If you disagree with me, by all means, tell me what you think in the comments below. Tell me why you think I'm wrong. Tell me why you think I'm a moron. I'm cool with it. Uh, also, while we're fighting this boss, or while we're fighting this boss area, yes, I will try the getting a, out an item off of the item god by leaving and coming back. I will try that. <laughs> Because I, I think it's twice now that I've meant to do it and I've just not done it. I like I've forgotten both times. So I, I try my goddamn hardest to remember. Not if I don't bad. bring it up every episode, right? <laughs> but I do not bring it up every episode before a hundred. Put it in the comments. Tell me. Tell me. Have you, have you forgotten? Are you okay? Yeah, and I and I will be like, no, I'm not. I just didn't bring it up. Sorry. Leave it to me. I'm going. It stuns. Stop it! Stop stunning me. Don't stun me. Don't do that. Watch this. Don't stun. Oh, also another, another thing. Um, I don't know. See, I've not looked this up or anything like that. But in Destiny, has anyone? Does anyone know anything about starship fights? I'm scared. Because they, you can buy planes, right? You can buy planes and, or planes, let's say ships. You can buy ships and all that, but I have no idea what they're used for other than to look good. Because there's no other, there's no other like logical connection between them. There's no, you can't do them and you can't do fights. I feel like originally there was plans for dog fighting or something in the game in the spaceships and that should be a thing because that would be fucking awesome and if that is in one of the expansions I will be buying <laughs> I will be immediately revoking what I said earlier and buying the expansion because I want dog fights in the spaceships okay, so I need to know that information as well 
There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, cool stuff going around on, on Borderlands. The, the thing is, uh, Borderlands, the new Borderlands is on the moon, right? Watch this. And the moon. <laughs> Not when Destiny was on the moon, I was like, oh shit, we gotta go to the fucking moon. This is gonna be cool. It's really not. It's really boring. Because guess what? Guess what the moon is? A bunch of grey rocks. And guess how they describe the moon on Destiny? A bunch of grey rocks. Which is fine because that's how it's that's how it is. But as boring. Which I don't want which I don't want Borderlands to be. Borderlands not on our moon, it's on Pandora's moon. So it could be different. Like in Star Wars, there was that moon that was just a big ass jungle. So I don't know. But if it's just boring grey land, and a lot of the some well not a lot, some some of the um, videos I've seen are kind of boring. They're kind of like boring looks uh, on the moon. I'm kind of hoping they change that up because the environment is a big deal for me in many games. In like pretty much all games I play, Here environment is one of the biggest things. And. <laughs> You're probably thinking now, like, like you say the environment's the biggest thing, but look at the environment you're in now. Yeah, I know. Look at it. It's boring. That background? Dull. This is the 450th millionth time I've seen it. Boring. But the layout of the map is different every time. So that's what's exciting. Exercise. So I'm hoping that it's... I'm hoping that that's good. And I'm not going to do a full play for a Borderlands. No fucking way. Because... Uh, I've not really got many people to do Let's Plays with that are, that are willing to spend time doing a full Let's Play. You know what I mean? So, I, for a game like Borderlands, I'd want there to be four of us. You know? So, that it, but that, so that's fine. Plus, I, I don't really think we've got time for it as well, which is another thing. We've really not got time because uh -huh. we've got all so much other stuff. Especially because I'm, I'm also about to go record some more Naruto. After this, so it's crazy. We could be God knows how much time we're gonna have. Oh, everyone's fucking me. We've got pirates mixed in now as well. Pirates pretty much all strong, I think, as well. Last pirates like le what, level what, two thousand or something? Uh, yeah, they're not that bad. They're actually not that bad. Let's just nuke. Be a big old nuke right in the middle here. I'm scared, huh? And uh, then you can do this here. Yeah, I, I'll still do a taking a peek on Borderlands, obviously, and we can have a look. There's also the other Borderlands game, the new Telltale Games Borderlands thing, uh, Tales from the Borderlands, and that looks fucking cool. That looks really cool. I uh, might do a full play from that. It would also be my first Telltale Games game. Uh, I wanted to play a Jurassic Park one, but I ended up watching a Let's Play of it, and I wanted to play the Walking Dead one, but turns out, but when I went to do it, turns out I don't care about the Walking Dead, so I didn't do it. So them doing a Borderlands one is very interesting to me, and I really want to look at that. So I might do a full play for that because I don't. It might be quite nice to do that sort of game, you know. But I don't know yet. That depends on the time of when it's huh? released, because I have no idea when it should be released. So we'll find out more about that. Sardines. But it looks very ah. interesting. It's very cool. Watch this. It's not lot, as far as I go. There's not a lot of combat in it though. But it's Sardines. Telltale games, so it why would there be? Telltale you. games are more about the story, I guess. Ha, ha. Uh, you can kill that person, but I kind of want you just to kill that one person. Uh, that's good. That worked. That worked nicely. And then we get Mao out here in front of Salamander. And we'll do a theme of Jock there. Oh, Deathblow. They're nice. And then we'll get a Terra Heal on both of them. There we go. Well, you dinged from that. Bron, good job. Oh. Enemy base powers. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Oh, Florence died. Oh, Mal's died. Oh, everything's gone to pop. Everything has officially gone to pop. 
Holy shit. Okay, let's do one of these that way. And then let's bring you up there and then do a fire one here. Huh? Dead. We are the best. Oh. And of Watch course, this. the bastard who killed, killed our flock. How dare you! There it is. Death blow. Are those pretty men got a death blow evil D on them? Because that's really fucking lame if they have. And I've just looked at the clock. We have officially run out of time. I know I should be more professional than that, but I'm not. Uh, Kyoko, if you this. would love lovely, please allow us to use this. Thank you very much. We only cleared four, six. We only cleared six floors that time. Was I yammering on that much that we only cleared six floors that time? I'm so sorry about that. We'll do better next time, I'm sure. But thank you so much for watching anyway. Anything I've said during the episode, if you'd like to let me know what you think about it, I wish to read it. Put it in the description below. Tell me on Twitter. Whatever you want to do. If you want to tell me on Twitter, that's in the description. You can abuse me there as well if you like. I don't care. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click all those lovely buttons. And I will see you guys next time.